Give me a mic check. Mic check, bitches. Mm -hmm. Hello, live audience. What's up, everybody? Give us a second. We're getting everything dialed in. You might notice that the uh, video quality is much higher today. We're trying something new. Ryan's got a hookup on his, uh, what do you call that camera over there? Oh, that is my uh, Sony uh, PWX X70 or whatever. What you use when you film our yes. installation videos and whatnot. So, and it's also a great live broadcast yeah. camera, which is why I originally bought it. So, Russell Roberts, guys, is in the live chat. Russell Roberts, you've probably heard him on the podcast before. I just want to tell you, looks and sounds good, uh, Jeff Worland. Thank you. We will get started here, but I want to give props to Russell Roberts, who's in the live chat right now. I'm telling you guys, he's the reason that our video feed is up and so much more clear than it has been. Before, we were using a webcam, pretty low quality webcam, as high a web quality webcam as you get. Anyways, long story short, Russell Roberts felt like we needed a better video feed. I had the camera. I have a really badass Sony um, dedicated video with SDI out. And uh, Russell went out and purchased everything that we need. That's the kind of community that we've built here. Guys helping us and Russell, I mean, literally bought some stuff without me asking. I had it shipped to my home so that he knew what I had and he knew what I needed. Now, I will say uh, I spent eight hours one Sunday trying to get it all to work, but those are the headaches that you go through when you're trying new things and you're trying a, a higher quality uh, video feed, but hopefully, Russell, if you can comment, is it looking better than it ever has before? I hope that the uh, that the video quality is looking much better. We've always had the audio quality, but I'm hoping the video quality is is much much better. So uh, you guys can thank right there in the room. Um, nice look working together. Yeah, Ron Batson, thank you. So. All right, guys, so that's why it looks different, and uh, I hope it's working because I've worked hard eight hours of my time trying to get everything dialed in. Yes, it's crystal clear, R- Russell Roberts says. Thanks to you, buddy, um, for the equipment, and uh, man, that is part of the law-abiding biker community and how we roll, and hopefully from now on, you should see this really good video quality because we framed it all, and um, yeah, this is how we're going to rock it from now on. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to the live audience. We're going to get the show started, and uh, we've got some great uh, stuff for you guys today, but we appreciate you being here live, and uh, I'm glad because I wasn't able to test the new live video feed completely because you have to go live to do that, but 99% behind the scenes, I knew that I had it up and running, so all right. You know you're a biker when you recognize your friends by the sound of their exhaust. Mm, lurch. Well said and, 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 and now straight from the law abiding biker media studio out of sunny y- y- Yakima, Washington we bring you another episode of the number one listen to motorcycle podcast we're in your head we're in your head we're in your head we're in your head and yes, live audience, that is a Pendleton bandana. Big Daddy is sporting Yeehaw. around his skull. Yeehaw. It was hot in the garage today. I needed to wipe my sweat. You just look badass over hey, there. Hey, bikeaholics and listeners alike, the show is still going strong because of a lot of hard work and your support, of course. Thanks to all those loyal listeners and true friends of the show that have supported us or are supporting us. For less than a coffee a month, you can help support us too and put a little fuel in the law-abiding biker gas tank to make sure this show keeps moving on down the road. So, calling all law-abiding bikers, head over to our Patreon page and take action today. You can do so at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Oh, did I mention there's benefits too? From all your friends at lawabidingbiker.com, we appreciate each and every one of you. God bless and ride safe. Boys, should we do this thing? Let's do it. Do it. We got somebody new in the studio. Cherry popper. Popping the old cherry right over there. There we go. All right. Let's freaking do this thing. Every time I hear this, I just want to bang my head. Yeah. There's a reason for that, buddy. Mm-hmm. This is the podcast. 
for the motorcycle majority. The Big MM, also known as the 99%. Welcome back, Bikeaholics. Yes, we are live, YouTube live on this episode. It will come out later in podcast format from producer extraordinaire Lurch over there. Mm -hmm. The man, the myth, the legend. That's right, guys. All right. By tuning into this very podcast, whether you like it or not, Lurch, you are part of what we call the biker revolution own it more than any time in history guys we're here to be heard you guys out there are part of it this is the platform Mm -hmm. we do have one question before we get started what are you waiting for mount up and let us take you another wild ass ride that's right welcome back ryan erlacher here your host of this thing we call the law abiding biker podcast and your biker high tech redneck <laughs> rick was dozing over He's here just dozing, it's this chat it's throwing me off man uh-huh uh-huh you can't I was st- trying to give him an opportunity to say something because i was doing all the opener stuff you were dude and uh welcome we have a new face in the studio right there uh if you're watching live in the black cap that is brian white want to say hi to the audience look right in the camera hi there guys yeah look at those googly eyes right in the camera so uh, Brian um, uh, is uh, here, and he's actually been in the studio before, right? He just never actually been on the mic. So this he was in the for, peanut gallery. He was in the peanut gallery on a past episode. Mm-hmm. Do you remember what episode that was? I do not. It was Russell Roberts was here. Okay, that's right. And uh, he missed the first one, but he showed up on the second one. So it was not the zero muffler one. It was the one right. we did right after. And Brian is in the process. He is a prospective member of the Sworn Few, uh, our law enforcement motorcycle club. So he uh, has spent some time uh, behind the scenes here learning about the video production side of things and now the podcast and podcast production and all that kind of stuff. So it's good to have him in the studio. Uh, We bring a diverse amount of people into this show and hopefully it gives you different uh, looks into things and insights. And we do have the live chat uh, if you're listening in podcast format, if you ha- hadn't hit the live experience, you really need to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash live. We have a really high quality video feed. Thanks to patron Russell Roberts. And of course the audio has always been there. Um, but there's a little sign up over on that page, upper right hand corner, sign up. The only emails you get is when we go live and there's a big button. It makes it super simple. You push watch now and bam at the time, the scheduled time, it takes you right to the live event. Of course, Mm-hmm. Sorry, you raised your hand, Big Daddy. Did you raise your yeah, hand? Yeah, I was going to say. He, he raised his hand. He, That's he, so polite. So polite. polite. He doesn't have a theme song, but since he oh, has. Oh, you're right. I don't have he, But he, since he has so many stories and so many different. I could see him having like the theme like Thespian Theater from Saturday Night Live or something because he has all the stories. So we need something to where it's like intellectual. Like when he comes on, it's going to be like some kind of theme music that's like taking you to another world through the art of linguistics. Oh, dude, I don't even know what song, but you need to come up with it. So next time he's on, I have a song for him. Because you know what? Everybody's got a cool song, but yours is pretty badass. Big Daddy. Hey, baby, I love you so much. I just want to give you a little touch. And when I'm done, you'll smile big and wide because everybody knows I'm Big Daddy and I'm smiling. (laughs) Dude, he is a smooth operator because... uh, you know, white boy can rap a little bit over there. I can't come up with the, with the lines like that, Lord. You're just looking at me like he's just shaking his head. Yeah. I wasn't even going to do anything. I was just going to say, "What's up?" I and know, then all dude. of a sudden, I got inspired by looking at Matt in those shorts, and I was like, "If he can go fresh with shorts, I can go fresh with the rhymes." Dude, that's freaking sweet. And of course, we got Lurch in the house. Mm-hmm. Wait for it. Chat. Okay. I threw it for you, didn't I? Yeah, because I was playing, waiting. I was dicking with you. You were playing something different. I was dicking with you. Hey, hey. You did a cool one earlier with the pipes, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. we'll talk that, about wait till that. Wait you see that. We got a super chat. Thank you, Eric Shower. Shout out. If you guys don't know what Super Chat is, it's on YouTube. We are part of Super Chat, and that is just phenomenal. It's a way right now that you can support us, and we know a lot of you are patrons, and we get that. Um, a lot of you donate and all that, but Super Chat, basically, you can see Eric Shower's comment there. That's what he did. He donated $2 to our cause to help this very platform out. 
again, out of pocket, you know, Russell Roberts and all that helping us get equipment. That's how we do. We, we rely on the community. And so thank you, Eric showers, super chat. You get it highlighted depending on how much you donate for your super chat. Uh, you get your uh, comment pin there. It gets certain colors um, and all that kind of stuff. So everybody knows you did a super chat and thank you for that. If any of you, excuse me, if any of you choose to do that, the super chat button is at the lower left-hand corner. It's a little money sign. Is it, did we find out Lurch last time? It wasn't on the mobile app yet. <clears throat> Some people, they were only, right. can you see the super chat? I can, but I'm on my laptop. Okay. How about you guys? Can you see yes. the super chat yeah, button? I saw it. So it is there now, yeah, at least on it. Android. I know on iOS it was lacking, but anyways, if you do see that, it's at the bottom. No, it, it, it scrolls through, it goes, so the comments start to take it, but he's highlighted in a, um, but do you see blue. the super chat button? So you do could you, leave a super so chat. So you can do it. See, like, here's so mine. So you could leave a super see chat. See the little dollar sign down there? No, I don't, I don't have that. I don't know if iOS has it yet. Maybe not. Maybe Google does. I'm not sure. But anyways, if you do see that, that's how Eric Showers did that. And thank you very much. We've got a great episode for you guys. Um, we are going to talk about everything we did. We had a very, very busy day. We've got a very busy Memorial Day weekend for you guys. Ooh. And of course, this will be well past it by the time this comes out in podcast format. But nonetheless, we had a busy weekend. We are going live on YouTube when we're doing projects in the garage. You guys have probably seen some of those. So make sure that you have notifications sh- uh, turned on because sometimes we don't announce when we go live on YouTube and we just pop up in the garage. Yes, sir. I'm uh, looking at an Android device here. It's actually kind of burning my hand. I hope it doesn't catch on fire. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, here here is the uh, Android and at the bottom right there where he would where his chat bar is where he'd make a comment. See the little dollar sign? Yeah, right it's there? at the lower right so it's corner. It's definitely on the uh, Android devices. Let me see uh, Big Daddy's there. Nope. And they were last time. They're still rolling. Yeah, out. they don't have it on the iOS. If It's not in a place where you can find it easy. Super Chat sure. is still in beta. It's only allowed to use it for us guys that have, uh, I think we had to have at least 20,000 subscribers for YouTube to roll it out to us, but they roll it out to us. Obviously, we have that amount plus more. And uh, so it is in beta and it will get better. So if you don't see it on iOS, we get it. That is a problem that they're working on. All right. So today's episode is all about uh, what we did in the shop today. So we farted. Uh, well, we did do a lot of that um, and it is getting warm around here. Some beautiful weather. Uh, but we, we uh, let's see here. What do I got? Oh, so we put Python true dual head pipes uh, on Rick's uh, 2015 Harley Road Glide. And then we also put, uh, uh, where do I got it there? The do Bassanis? I, do I have Bassani. it? Bassani. Two do I even have two it there? I don't, I don't see it up there in your notes, but it's a Bassani two by two, meaning it does two into one into two. And it's a Bassani headers that basically use the stock uh, heat shields and uh, just goes in place of your stock headers, but opens it up, gets rid of that catalytic converter. So we'll talk a lot about that. We'll talk about the cats and what benefits there are to them. Um, I do want to give a shout out to Revzilla. They supported us. They sent us the pipes um, at no cost, and they are a huge supporter of what we do here, Law Abiding Biker Media. Yes, sir. I know why they're not in your show notes, because we intended to do Rick's, but we ended up doing them both today. So we got oh. a twofer, but we weren't planning on it. You're right. You're right. Totally. We're just going to do Rick's, and then we ended up doing mine as well. Totally. Good call. And so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the benefits and, you know, and some cat stuff, catalytic converter and heat issues and kind of what we think of those. But don't forget, if you appreciate it, you can always use our affiliate links, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash banners, B-A-N-N-E-R-S, bookmark that. All our affiliate banners are over there. Click through, make a purchase if you do, and we get a small kickback. It helps support us. It helps show Revzilla that you appreciate them supporting us. And we've got some other off the wall kind of topics. Of course, we've got the live chat. Jackson McConnell, super chat, $5 right in YouTube. Thank you. First time watching live. Hello, everyone. His comments pinned. Yes, sir. Oh, you put your hand up. I thought you had another question. I was airing out my armpit. That's awkward. Is it? It's awkward. Okay. Let, me, let me not do that anymore. <laughs> all right. Um, so we're going to break that down. And uh, we were all in the garage today filming all that. And uh, so we'll break that down and have some discussion on that. You know, we do absolutely love right here. Right here, Rick. <laughs> hey, uh, Alex, Ciro 3D has a wide variety of innovative products for your Hardy Davidson motorcycle, affordable chrome lighting and comfort products. These guys ride and support riders just like you. Head over to lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Ciro. Don't forget, we sell Ciro stuff now right in our store. Big Daddy Kane right there, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. He'll hook you up with the best of the best of Ciro stuff. What are you laughing about? Z Monster said, just a random tidbit on iPhone 
If you listen to the podcast at half speed, it's freaking hilarious. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, I bet, especially with Lurch's voice, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. That's freaking funny. Sound like a Beatles record played backwards. Yeah, smoke some weed, dude, and listen to it at half speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't promote that, by the way. That's legal in Washington it, it, State it is, now. It actually is legal here. But um, all right, guys. So we do uh, love our patrons, of course, and they're heavily involved. Uh, we just want to thank a few of them very, very quick. Why don't you guys thank these patrons, somebody? Well, we got Scott Mack of West Townsend, Massachusetts, Ryan Hostetter of Belgrade, Montana, and Doug Rogers of Buckley, Washington, mm-hmm. local guy. There you go. And then, of course, we got Dan Goats of Eden Prairie, Minnesota, Aaron McCrary of Brandenburg, Kentucky, and Michael Clark, another local of Ording, Washington, and he is top here. Dude, a lot more Washingtonians getting uh, wise to the law-abiding biker scene, aren't they? In, they in are platform. definitely joining the biker revolution and the 99 percenter. Yeah, buddy, they took action. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Pledge a certain amount per piece of content. That's right. It helps support us. No risk because you can put a monthly cap on it. That's right. We love our patrons. You get benefits. That's right. The uh, t-shirts and stickers and our awesome private Facebook group. You can only get in there if you become a patron. And then, of course, those top tier guys access upon request of our premium videos. Lurch, you have a question. Open those buttons back up for me, sir. Uh, I'm just going to throw a shout out to Doug Rogers and Michael Clark. If you guys are in Buckley and Ording, we should meet up at Whistling Jacks and have a little uh, tasty beverage. That would be very nice. We love meeting our patrons, guys. And, uh, We'll be going up to Canada. We're going to have a big patron meetup up there uh, this year. We're looking forward to that. Now, we got a whole bunch of products. Um, I, I want to talk about this real quick. You guys might want to watch it. Um, it is at lawbindingbiker.com forward slash vlog, VLOG45. I did a vlog. Revzilla uh, supports us. They sent us a whole bunch of stuff. So please use our affiliate link, lawbindingbiker.com forward slash Revzilla. If you're going to purchase stuff, bookmark it, all that kind of stuff. But they are a huge supporter of us. Love what we're doing here. And I did a vlog on all the stuff they send us. I did an unboxing. I think it's a pretty cool vlog. And uh, it will show you some of the stuff that they sent us and what you have to look forward to. Because, of course, everything that they sent us, I am testing and or Rick or Matt or somebody else with the Law Abiding Biker crew is testing those products extensively so that we can do a detailed review, detailed video law-abiding biker style so we can get the information out to you on those products, the latest, the greatest, and all that kinds of stuff. So check that vlog out, guys. You can find any of this on our website. I'll also embed it right in the show notes. Of course, you know how to get those, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash and whatever episode number this is. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and talk first install we did today. And I want to tell you that everything we did today, of course, we filmed for you guys. And we always learn new stuff and we get new opinions and uh, understanding of things. And that's why we just try. It seems like it's just more pipes, but there are differences. And uh, we're going to break some of those differences down for you and um, maybe a few things we learned, but we did film it all. And these will also be coming out right on our YouTube channel Um, And so make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube. We are as busy on our YouTube channels. We are here right on the podcast. It looks like the chat is going strong there. Lurch, why don't you talk about, since we did your bike first, we pulled it on the lift, on the old Titan lift. Ricky, Big Daddy over there can get you a Titan lift. Oh, yeah. Look them up in our store. We're sending a lot of Titan lifts to guys. $300 flat shipping on all lifts. All Mm -hmm. I need you to do is send me an email at rick at lawabidingbiker.com, and I need your full name, your phone number, your address, and I will send you an invoice from our store that you can pay conveniently through PayPal or credit card. And like I said, all lifts are $300 flat shipping anywhere in the continental U.S. Very nice. We can't ship out of country. It's too expensive on lifts, guys. But Titan is our go-to lift, and multiple guys around here have them. Big Daddy, all of you know that follow us is absolutely 100% in charge of our store. That's who you're talking down there when you're dealing with store items. So with that said, we didn't get to a couple things, but we did get your at least. We didn't know how much we were going to do today, and that's kind of how it goes sometimes here guys is we have so much stuff to do and so many products to install and review that we have had them stacked on shelves and in corners of the garage that we need to get to but we did get to these and i think 
Well, I'll let Lurch tell you what he, you know, when he's done. But why don't you tell him what we're doing, your bike, and why we're doing what we're doing, and and why you maybe went with these and some some of the uh, advantages, and just leave it for open discussion. Brian, feel free to join at any time that you want to. All right, ready, set, go, go. <laughs> so what we did on my bike is we installed the Bassani. What two. kind of bike do you have, Lurch? Okay, well, let's go all the way back to uh, when I was <laughs> five. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, don't I have a 2015 Road Glide Special. Yes. Blue in color. So sexy. Oh, so sexy and so smooth. Uh, I had these stock head pipes on it, and we've got a, a guy here locally that will take your stock pipes and cut them open and cut the baffles out and do all that, but... We had an opportunity through RevZilla to try some different head pipes. And uh, on my bike, I chose to go with the Bassani 2 into 2 head pipes. So what it is, it has a crossover in it. So it goes uh, from the two cylinders down into a crossover, then out to the two exhaust. And really all it does is it gets rid of the catalytic converter, which gets rid of a lot of heat and opens up the pipes quite a bit. And then the sound was definitely different. But uh, the great thing about these Bassani ones, because the way they're designed, they use a stock heat shield. So the price point is actually pretty damn good on them. Do you remember what the price point was You'd on those? I can look Big Daddy. Up. I know he knows. Yeah, when I looked at them, I, I, I'm going to quote a figure. It was like 450 to 500 And the reason why they're able to do that over their normal with the heat shields is because you're reusing those stock heat shields. Is this them? This I, was an invoice we got. Well, I think that three ninety nine ninety five for Bassani 2 by 2 Oh, well, that'd be it. Yep, that that's like what they bucks, huh? sent us three ninety nine. Yeah, and is then, that our price or is that? No, that they just sent them to us, so I don't know whatever they have the price that's on their website. Okay, but, let me look while you're talking. Well, we you specifically chose those because they use um, the stock heat shield heat shields, and the thing that's cool about it the is, stock Harley heat shields. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. And right, we were uh-huh. a little worried at first when I ordered them for for Matt's bike three ninety nine ninety five. Mm-hmm. So, so what are. you're getting on this is you're getting a set of headers and you're saving some money because you're reusing your heat shield. So it saves them money, obviously. Mm-hmm. But the reason why we chose this for Matt's bike um, is because he wanted to maintain the crossover. And I thought it was a great opportunity for us because you guys maintain, all, maintain what crossover? Why? Well, the crossover technically, I mean, a lot of people tell you the crossover helps create more power than why a don't true, you explain true the crossover. Door. Well, the crossover, what it is, you got the two, you got the exhaust coming out of both jugs, and then it goes into a crossover chamber. It goes into the catalytic converter chamber. Yeah, Mm -hmm. but now you don't have the catalytic converter, and so what it, in theory, the idea behind it is that because you're chambering it instead of in in contrast to two duels, right? Yeah, which are two straight pipes, basically. Yeah, right. Okay. And the theory is is that process creates more power and and Mm, more torque and horsepower. Power um, it essentially balances the exhaust and the back pressure. Nice. Nicely said. And the thing that's very cool about these is that we did not know how well the heat shields were going to work with this because this is a brand new product for us. And you guys have for ages been asking us about what about this brand, this brand, this brand, because we've been rather loyal to Vance and Heinz and that's traditionally what we've done. So we specifically reached out for two brands that were different than Vance and Heinz that were completely different. One true duels, which some people love the true duel sound and one with the crossover. So that's why we went with this. And then I'll let Lurch take over from here, why he wanted that one. And et right. Cetera. And so what the big daddy's talking about. Yeah, exactly. Is we went with the Basani two to, to two to two um, with crossover. And then Rick will talk, big daddy will talk here a minute and about, he went with true duels. And so we've got two contrasting theories and pipes here. So, Mm-hmm. Lurch, pick it up. So, what's attractive about these is the price at, at four hundred bucks. You're saving one hundred fifty, two hundred bucks versus some other type of head pipes. And I did want the crossover. I wanted that performance uh, mm-hmm. there. Um, you, I, and we'll see in time, and we'll do a follow up when uh, Rick rides his two true duels and see if he sees any uh, lacking in performance. I've heard, anyways, that when you have a bike that has a crossover on it you get better performance so right. that's, that's pretty much a standard yeah, yeah i think it's fairly true i think you get better back pressure and better performance out of it but we'll see we, we definitely have some time to to evaluate these we literally put them on today so we can't give any real opinion at this point but with the bassani uh they fit great the fitment was good the quality was good you got to use the stock heat shields and so it looks 
right now it looks like it did before I even switched it out, but I have a lot more performance out of it. I was kind of surprised at the sound difference because I figured there'd be a little bit more throatier sound getting rid of that catalytic converter, but it was uh, it was very noticeable. It really opened it up. So Absolutely. I look forward to it. I think I'm going to get better performance out of it. I definitely am going to get less heat because I won't have that catalytic converter cooking my nuts there underneath the my uh, right heel there. So I think it's a win-win. Why don't we talk talk about install a little bit? The Um, install was... What else could you do? Yeah, tell me this. So let's say, and I just put a link up in the uh, live chat, guys, of exactly the product. It's actually an affiliate link. I grabbed our CJ link, Matt, for him, and I put it in there, our junction. Um, But, uh, you know, here's the deal. Uh, You know, you can go buy these at $399.95. All right. And we don't promote anything illegal here, guys. You need to check with your local state and federal laws um, because there are different standards and what you can and can't do when it comes to modifying exhaust. Um, but you know, one of the other things is really they're just getting rid of cats. So these pipes are, you're coming without cats, right? Completely without cats, just the crossover chamber. Right. So the alternate is this is an easy way to do it at three ninety nine ninety five, which isn't bad. How else could one get rid of their cats if they want it, you know, if they yeah, want it. I talked about it a little bit earlier, but did you, I might've been chatting. Yeah, and I, don't, I don't, and I don't know that I really explained it. I just said it quickly. So you can actually take your head pipes off of your bike and take it to a welder. He can cut them open, get rid of the cat and weld it back together. But you need somebody that's got some experience in doing that. Yes. And it also depends on your state. I mean, that may or may not be legal in your state. So you need to check your state and local laws, but well, a welder guy could do it. A, f- uh, actual exhaust guy probably shouldn't because they're under, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? A guy in his garage who can weld it and do it, he's not under any, you know, uh, 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 authority basically, right? But a, the guy that's running an exhaust shop and license, he's he depending on the learn. state, he may not be able to do that. And Does just, that make sense? Yeah, exactly. And it depends on your state. Uh, here we can do it. Uh, California can't do it. Right. right? So there, there is that option. You can take your stock headers, take them to a welder. He can cut them open, get rid of the uh, catalytic converter and weld it all back together. If you don't have, not everybody has access to a guy that's either one willing to do it or, or can do it a uh, quality job. So this is a economical way to do it. In my opinion, to get rid of the catalytic converter. If you don't know somebody that can cut it open and weld it, cause you're depending on where you're going, it's going to cost you probably a couple hundred bucks to have somebody do the work anyways. So right you know, at this point, three ninety nine, pretty affordable for head pipes it compared is. to the other stuff that's like five to seven hundred bucks. And you're getting what you what you want you know, without the cats, and you know it's solid because it was built that way. You're not worried about busting your pipes open. Thank you, the Hexter one, a ten dollar super chat on our live YouTube. Wow, Northern California coming strong. Tough to change pipes in Cali these days. Yes, the Hexter one. Thank you for that super chat donation. We appreciate it. It helps support us. Um, he's right. And we talked about that in our live YouTube in the shop today, which is why people need to be subscribed and have alerts on because we do random YouTube lives all the time and you're missing out if you don't have those alerts and subscription. But uh, we talked about that. We made some jokes about it. That uh, And this is just busted. We love our California guys. We have a ton of patrons and audience members that are California. But I think my comment was, uh, you guys in California are going to be riding va- battery-powered Vespas pretty soon <laughs> if the state of California has anything to do with tramping on any more of your rights down there. And I feel sorry for you guys. Um, I would be absolutely pissed if I lived in California with some of their ridiculous, ridiculous emissions laws. It's yeah, we're sad. pretty lucky at this point. The emissions laws that we have in Washington don't affect more cycles and doesn't, they don't affect older vehicles. So if you have a classic vehicle, you're fine. It's just the newer stuff. And even then, it depends on what county you live in. Right. So we live in eastern Washington. We don't have to deal with any emissions whatsoever. But if you're around King County, you do have to go and get emissions Seattle tested. area. Yep. Which we stay away from. Yeah. We love our West Siders. We have a lot of West Siders. But um, you're right. It does vary a lot. You know, we don't really care about emissions around here. Hell, you can burn 40 Arbovitas. Oh, yeah. And nobody even bats an eye. And I burnt down 40 of my 180 Arbovitas. I told that story in a past episode. Um, I'm sure that created some emissions, Lurch. Oh, I guarantee you. Those things it, it are, went off like Roman candles. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. going to lie to you. It was impressive. You know, the thing Did I- you like the view from the porch? I'm getting off track, but... 
Yeah. You sat on the porch tonight. Do you like the view with through the burned arbor vitae? Now you can look east. Oh, yeah, I think mountains. Brian has. We had a to great time. Yeah. Thank you. We uh, we got to watch some quail. A oh. covey of quail move through. So. Nice. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna keep those low because I I miss the view. Anyways, yes, Rick. I, I was gonna say that the reason that I was impressed with these Bassanis is the fact of how smooth. Not only it, you expect this from a company like Bassani, but they went on so smoothly. And then you add the fact that the heat shields were just like a natural fit. Obviously, they spent some R and D time to make this thing work absolutely perfect. Sometimes we get products. And they could even be Harley Davidson products, and they do not fit perfect. You have to push in a backrest uh, mounting system just a little too much because it's kind of spread out or something. Right. But this thing, I mean, I don't think there was one problem that we had doing this install. It was smooth as butter. The heat shields went on perfectly. Um, it, I just was really, really impressed with these Bassanis and the sound, the difference in, in uh, Lurch's bike was night and day. When he fired it up, I don't know who grinned more, him or I. Yeah, so that's something we want to talk about. Who's throwing super chats, Lurch? We Somebody got just threw Travis in Champion threw a five dollars super chat out there. Thank you, Travis. You the man, Travis. Thank you so much, guys, for those super chats and continuing support. We appreciate it. You know, and uh, we appreciate it very much. In fact, I think that we should. Uh, hey, do you want to do this? Mm-hmm. Anybody? Call to oh, action. I'll do it. Oh, you want to do it? Which one? Open it up. Oh, well, hang on. I'm looking for it, dude. Oh, I think we should do that right there, dude. Hang on. Hang on. You got to wait. You got to wait. All right. Does Brian want to do it? I mean, if you're on Papa Cherry, you might as well. Well, he's never heard it before, way. though. He's probably listened to the podcast, but you better. He's just read. You want to do it? No, you got to do it. Anybody? Hey, Bikeaholics, searching for new and exciting motorcycle products? Zero3D has just what you're looking for. Check out the wide variety of innovative products from Harley-Davidson Motorcycles. Zero3D's got your back with chrome, lighting, and comfort products. No modifying, cutting, grinding, or welding for an easy installation. That equals less time installing and more time riding. They have over a design team with over 40 years of experience with a passion for design and innovation. These guys are bikers, and they care about bikers just like you. They pride themselves on great customer service. You got a question? Uh-huh. Get in touch with them via email at sales at, 3D, sales at 03D.com or give them a call at 715-808-0027. Zero 3D is distributed in the United States by Drag Specialties, in Europe by Parts Europe and Zodiac, and in Asia by Twin Art. Check out your local Harley dealership and ask for zero parts. Head over and check them out at www.lawabidingbiker.com forward slash zero and tell them the Law Abiding Biker crew sent you. Or distributed right here from Law Abiding Biker Media in our store, lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store Big Daddy Kane. We are a distributor of zero. We'd love to get some of it in your hands. We're doing a ton of videos on zero 3D stuff because we're attaching those videos to the items listed in our store so check that out they're a continued sponsor and again we're carrying their product so thank you to zero for sponsoring uh this episode and many others so hey ryan i got yes, a question sir. Uh-huh. why did we film this today uh, is it because maybe written instructions are not all that great uh, correct we well this is what i think of written instructions right they're live do it in slow motion dude do it like Ooh, yeah, dude. That's what I think of. That is what we think of written instructions. They suck, and that's why we make the videos for you guys because bikers just want to go to our YouTube channel and watch a damn video that Lurch is finishing it off there in true style. There we go. Mm-hmm. You saw it right here. Uh, well, uh, yeah, you know, guys don't want the instructions, and and that's why we make the videos to help you guys out to uh, to find a way. Uh, through them and around the instructions. Am I not correct? A guy just wants to sit in a shop with his laptop and watch the video on how to do it. Not so much easier because the do. instructions suck. Just like HD instructions. Yes, the Bassani and the Python instructions both sucked. Some engineer, not a biker, is writing those instructions. Right? Mm-hmm. Damn straight. All right. So let's talk about because that's a question that often comes up. Is uh you know. Will it make a sound difference? I was um, surprised. Getting yeah, thank you, and that's what I want to hear. And Brian, maybe you too, because we've done a lot of pipes uh, on our YouTube channel, and uh, we have a lot of experience. But usually, we're doing the pipes um, at the same the, the the mufflers at the same time that we're doing the head pipes. Right, we're, we're ridding the cat. So, 
we, I, I guess we'll say we've never actually done until today where we've had the mufflers installed on your bike. We've had right. the mufflers, 450 OS Titans. We have uh, a video yep. on that. Mm-hmm. Vance and Hines. Vance and Hines Eliminator, 400s. Yep. So we've check our YouTube channel for that. But we, we put the mufflers and then we kept the pipes with the cats. And so this was us able to separate it, if that makes sense, to separate it and narrow it down to, okay, how much sound actually comes when we just get rid of the cats? Because before like I say, it was a package and we didn't really know. We just got rid of the stock pipes. We put new headers, no cats and mufflers. And it sounds great, but this really showed us how much more sound. And I think we're all a little bit surprised. So go ahead, Mm -hmm. take it. Yeah. Brian White, everybody in the house on the mic. Brian White. Brian White. I love the sound difference from riding with Lurch a few times before. And I am getting ready to put the uh, 450 OS Titans on my new 17 Road Glide Special. Mm -hmm. He's got the new Milwaukee 8. Mm -hmm. And I want to make sure that I do the header pipes as well because of the sound difference. And I want to get rid of the the catalytic converter and all that heat. Yes. I've already felt all that heat that it generates and believe it'll be much better performance and everything. Nicely said. And Brian has the Milwaukee 8 and we have some videos coming up on that. In fact, we were talking today Oh, see, this is how much projects I have going on. What the hell are we going to do to your bike? Or oh, we're doing exhaust. That's right. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to film that, guys. So we'll have some Milwaukee 8 videos coming out. Thanks to Brian and offering his bike up. And uh, we're going to do an FP3 video, Fuel Pack 3 uh, uh, fuel injection tuner on his bike and start getting some Milwaukee 8 stuff out to you guys because I know we've been asked about it. So, yeah, good. We got somebody that just talked to us from Morocco. No shit how cool yeah. is that dude? hello guys i'm from morocco and i love your videos and unfortunately we can't support you from morocco i i i want to get into motorcycling world that is very cool and that is el medi lana right lana thank you that is so awesome how cool is that man straight from morocco and uh, how did you find out did somebody say that that they're from morocco yeah it's on the chat okay yeah i believe you i just have a uh, just an ass load of chat here which is awesome thank you and that's so cool. Female, right? Getting into motorcycling from Morocco. Is that fair to say? I don't or I'm know. Not, oh, I'm not sure. Maybe I read into that. Okay. No. Nope. Okay. My bad. My bad. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, any at any rate, thanks for the, the support and uh, the, the shout out in the comments. We love the interactive chat, which is the only reason we do these live episodes because they take a lot of work, but it's so worth it. Um, don't you guys agree to, to sit here and interact with the audience? So with that said... How much? Tell me about your impressions of the sound, and then I was shocked. Yeah, yeah. I, you didn't I, think it was going to be that much either. No, I, I mean, didn't either. Honestly, I didn't either. Just getting rid of the cats. Just but cutting we're, the we're cat out up there. A big I mean, plug. Yeah, you you know like the catalytic converter. I mean, I think most people understand what they are, but it's basically a honeycomb inside there that gets really hot that helps burn those extra gases and makes it more uh, earth friendly, Envi- more will. California friendly. And if you get, I mean, the, if you've ever seen one of those, that's a massive uh, obstruction in your in your exhaust. I mean, it's it's nuts, and it gets hotter than hell, obviously, so it can reburn the gases that are going through. But you get rid of that, it really opened it up. I I thought there'd be a a little bit of a sound difference in my exhaust, but it was noticeable. It was major noticeable. And we're not talking noticeable just by the the volume of it. It was the tone of the bike, the deeper right. rumble. It ran smoother. And I think uh, for me, I'll bring back Lurch into this, but when, before we even started, we picked up the box and I said, you got to pick up this box he and picked feel up the this. Box. And he picked up the box of the Bassanis. And I got to tell you, that thing was so lightweight. Yeah. I was like, dude, you're cutting easily 20 pounds off the weight of your bike with these things. Good call, dude. I forgot about that. There's they definitely are light, weight huh? savings between the Bassani headers and the stock headers. They're much lighter. Yeah, yeah right. it's, I'm not, it's not because they're thinner or less quality. They're just less there. You don't have that uh, catalytic converter there. During the install, did you find any quality issues with the Bassanis that we got from Revzilla? Absolutely not. My no. I was very impressed. I, I was no. impressed at the fact that those... Um, heat shields? Yeah, the heat shields went on so flawlessly. Um, when I installed the um, rings for the... Uh, uh, I don't know what they're called. Circlips. Circlips. Mm-hmm. They went on smooth, um, one-handed. Like butter. Yeah, one of them I went on with. The, I didn't even have to use the pliers to uh, 
get it on or off. So it was very impressive quality, good chroming. Um, well, they're obviously not chrome, but they were very well finished, I should say. You could tell that these are high quality stuff, even for the price break. But obviously, they're offering that price break because they're not having to include heat shields in the chroming process, right. et cetera. Good call. Who's leaving a super chat lurch? Doug Donnelly left $10. $10. Doug, thank you, That's man. Good. Thank Thanks. you for the super chat and leaving that donation to support this platform, guys. Man, awesome. So, yeah, I didn't find any quality with uh, problems with him either. Now, you guys ask, okay, here's where we keep it real, guys. Um, here at Law Abiding Biker Media, we are a Vance and Hines distributor <laughs> right out of our store. That sounded like a bear. Yeah, man. what was that? That sounded like a whale or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just Brian White coughing. I had my mic off. <laughs> he did. All right, so... You ask, why are you guys promoting Bassanis when you're a Vance and Heinz dealer? That's how real we keep it around here, guys, is we understand, yes, we love our Vance and Heinz stuff, but we also understand that you know we have to support the platform, so we have the store, but we don't want to be limited to only the products that we sell um, because there's a lot of stuff out there, and it doesn't do any service to the law-abiding biker community, you guys out there, if we're only reviewing our very own stuff that we sell. So we try to review things that are outside our store. And I'm not saying that someday we may carry Bassani. I don't know. We haven't went down that road yet, but you know, we like to test it because you guys ask and RevZilla is such a supporter of us and is sending us stuff and, 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 and supporting this platform that we feel, uh, you know, an obligation, so to speak to the law abiding biker community that we not only review just our own stuff and, and get the word out. And Hey, if you want to buy Vance and Heinz, we'd love to sell it to you. Rick right there would love to sell it, but you know what? If you're stuck on Bassani, maybe we can give you a good review. And in turn, you can just use our RevZilla affiliate link, lawbindingbiker.com forward slash RevZilla. If you're going to end up purchasing something from that, you know, that helps us too. So um, just as we go along, we've got to keep it open to all the products that are out there for bikers because there is a buttload of them that we've, and we've got a lot of those things in boxes still that we haven't got around to. Well said, because mm -hmm. we do get a lot of emails saying, hey, have you guys considered installing this brand or this brand or this brand? And it's a catch 22 because we've always traditionally been Vance and Heinz guys, but we realize that our audience wants us to talk about other products. And that's why I specifically chose this product um, after consulting with Lurch, because I wanted to make sure that he'd be happy with what we were getting. But I specifically chose this because I thought, you know what, what's the number one complaint um, from bikers, you know, when they're looking at headers, oh, wow, that's five, 600 bucks. Holy smokes. Here's an opportunity, even though we may, we may not be selling it to you, you can get yourself an inexpensive set by using your, your own header or your own heat shields. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to show you how to install them. And thanks to RevZilla, we could actually make that happen. So we are trying to reach out into different brand stuff, but understand guys, we we operate off of our own penny a lot of times. So when people are saying, well, have you tried the Reinhardt, you know, two into one, or have you tried this? We always say the same thing, don't we? We would love to, if they will send us one, we'll absolutely check Give into it. Give it a fair it. review, fair Give and it balanced a fair review. balanced review. But we have to deal with, you know, we're not some big company that's, you know, making millions of dollars and we can just go out. I mean, we have to go off of what people are asking for. And what do we think would be the best bang for the buck for our customers? And this is an excellent bargain. So that's why we chose this one. Yes. So I'm, I listen and you're right. Well said, Rick. Thank you. Um, so we're going to uh, stray just a little bit and then we're going to talk about your pipes, Rick, because we have chat going on and I always like to be able to answer some questions in chat. Philip Pence, the undercarriage lights you installed on a bike, are they legal to have while riding? So Philip, he's talking about, our Zero 3D LED uh, shock and awe kit that we sell in our store along with our fork mounted illuminators. We have a complete install video on that plus a another live, now not live video that I did after I installed them on my bike. The answer to your question is they're completely legal as far as I know in all states to install on your bike. Um, again, you need to check for yourself. However, in certain states, it will be illegal to drive down the road with those LED lights on, but I cannot answer for every state. You'll need to check your laws, but a lot of people install them. Um, and, and I don't really run them on the road here. More what I run them, uh, my LED zero uh, shock and are like when I'm at an event 
or I'm in a parking lot and I go into a restaurant because LEDs take very little. You can literally leave them on for hours and hours. We saw a lot of it parked at Sturgis when you park outside a restaurant, um, you know, or private property. Um, those kind of things is, is when, but there are probably states where it's legal to run down the road with them. But uh, again, we won't get any deeper in that. Hopefully that answered that question. Any other questions that we want to answer real quick before we move into uh, it? Lurch? Why don't you do this, Lurch? And Rick and O'Brien, if you want to follow up on this, let's finish talking about Bassani 2 into 2. Um, the install, we're going to give you guys a video. It's going to be free. It's going to be on this very YouTube channel, on our very YouTube channel. Um, is there anything that stuck out? We the One thing I want to mention that you guys didn't mention is if you're worried about it, the new Bassani pipes come stock with um, uh, both 18 millimeter bungs and 12 millimeter O2 sensor bungs. What that means is it comes with plugs also. Now, if you're using like a fuel pack three, which we sell in our store, we highly recommend it as an EFI tuner. Um, you, you won't need to you use your stock 12 millimeter bungs. You reuse those. Now it also has 18 millimeter bungs. If you're going to use something such as a power vision, a dyno jet power vision EFI tuner, which we also we have a video on how to install that and get it up and run. And we have used the power vision, but if you're not going to use those 18 millimeter O2 sensor bungs, you just plug them comes with the plugs. We use the stock 12 mil, millimeter. So that's nice. Um, as far as install, very, very straightforward. Again, it'll be a free video coming out on the YouTube channel for you guys to install these Basanis. Yes, it does sound better, a lot better without the cats, even with those Titan OS, uh, Vance and Heinz Titan OS 450 slip-ons that Lurch has. It's just a really good throaty all around sound. Sum it up, sum it up, and then we're moving on. I heard about Basani. I've heard about them for years. I mean, even, I mean, back when I was riding sport bikes, to be honest with oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. And I just never uh, put my toe in the Bassani pool, if you will. I've been a Vance and Hines guy for a long time. You never dip, and still dip your little carrot yeah. in the Bassani pool? Well, actually, I don't, I don't know about a little That's carrot. It's a little carrot. He's I, got big feet. Trust me, he put his whole, <laughs> he put his whole feet, foot in today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I, I was kind of excited to, to try them. And I got to tell you, the install was easy. Everything fit well. The, um, they, they went right in place of the stock headers, the uh, heat shields went right in place and the fit and finish was outstanding. It definitely opened up the bike. The exhaust is obviously and notably uh, louder and sounds better. And um, it's going to reduce the amount of heat that that uh, stock uh, catalytic converter was kicking out there. So for me, it's a win-win. It's a, it's a good product. The price is right. And you get rid of all that heat. So I'm, I'm excited. I look forward to using them. If, if anything comes up as we move along that uh, I don't like, I will make sure to let the listening audience know. Yes, very nice. I love the, the difference in the sounds. Talking to your mic. I noticed that the, boy. Uh, Look at that big boy voice. I like that. I noticed that the uh, low end, you didn't really have to rev it a lot to get a lot of the sound. It has a nice, deep, throaty sound that you didn't have before. Right. And it really made me realize that that's the way I want to go when I do your Milwaukee do the, 8. Yep, do the Milwaukee 8. So I like it. Well and said. I like the, the idea of getting rid of the catalytic converter because mm-hmm. I noticed we ride in some hot weather mm-hmm. here at times. We did a ride uh, last week on Monday, and it was in the 90s, and it was real Was that your hot. Portland ride? Yeah. Yeah, rock on. The best steak and uh, salad we could find. Yeah, nice great little salad. Down there. Good job. Good day ride. Sweet. Good job, Brian. Thank you. We want to thank, we love our patrons. We love our patrons. We love everybody, the super chat, all that. But you know what? If the only way you can support us is through a flat donation, we never, ever, Lurch, do we balk at a flat donation. We would never balk at a flat donation. So we got Rob Scartosi of Clearwater, Florida, George Bachmeyer of Lake Havasu City, Arizona, Robert Thomas of Mission British Columbia, a substantial donation. Mm. Michael Kelly of Brunswick, Ohio. Jonathan Holen of Kennewick, Washington, and a top tier patron. He's awesome. And James Sir- Sirson, or Sirkin of Quincy, Washington, a substantial donation and a repeat donator. We really appreciate that, guys. It really helps us out. And we're going to talk about him on an upcoming episode about our insurance episode because he was in the canyon. Okay. Yeah, so we will get to him, guys. You'll want to stay tuned because um, we care 
about the community. LawbindingBiker.com forward slash donate. You can do it. You can take action. You can leave a flat donation right there at that link so you can help support this thing that we call the biker revolution. And we can continue on to keep this platform going for all of you guys, all of you gals out there in the community. Let's move on right now to Rick's bike, which, um, 2015, 16, uh, sorry. Yeah, I always forget 2016 Harley Davidson road glide special. And he was looking to get rid of, he already had uh, Vance and Heinz, which we sell in our store, uh, 400 illuminator 400s. And, uh, he was looking to get rid of that heat, to get rid of that cat, to get a new head pipe system. This is in contrast to what we talked about, which is the crossover where the two pipes chamber, where they come out front head, back head chamber, bam, back into two out the left and right side. These pythons, these python crossovers, right? No, true python, dual. True duels. True no dual. Crossover. No, your true duels. My bad. Uh, yeah, python true duels do not chamber. You have one coming out of the head, front head, one coming out of the back, and bam, it does. Uh, skirt left so it can go out the left side underneath and the right side, but they're true pipe and pipe. There's no coming together and chambering. And so he wanted to test these. And uh, I think that uh, we talk about Python. Um, we'll talk about that and the quality and kind of the install. Rick, why don't you start out and just roll with the install on your bike on these Pythons. Also from Revzilla, these particular uh, pipes were sent to us. So go rock on. Well, it started with uh, a lot of people have been asking us about the true duels. Um, not only the Vance and Hines dresser duels, but Stop, also Stop, hang on brands. a second. Eric Showers wants, can Big Daddy do YMCA? What? <laughs> no, I can't do, do YMCA. Do it. I Eric Shower. I don't even know how to spell that. Um, <laughs> they, uh, what we get a lot of questions Man, no fun. on the dresser duels from Boring. Vance and Hines or the true duels. And so when I selected these two pipes that we were getting from Revzilla, I specifically chose two different types so that we could give you guys two different opinions within the same podcast of different types of headers. But also I could give you, we could give you both products because a lot of people want like, like Vance and Hines has the power duels, which uses a crossover chamber. And then they have the dresser duels. Well, other brands are the dresser have, duels, true duels. Yes. I forget with Vance and Hines, the ones we sell. Yeah. They're, yeah, right. they're true duels and Bassani makes a true duels, but I wanted to do two different brands. I almost got the Bassani, uh, true duels, which uses this cool little loop. They call, I, I don't know if it's called a power loop or something, but on the rear, on the rear jug, it has, instead of going straight out, it kind of has this curvature to it. Right, but right. I I didn't see any advantage of, of us doing the same brand. I wanted to do something completely different, and I know there's an affiliation with Vance and Hines with the Pythons, so I thought it was a great opportunity to compare it to the Dresser Duels, which I was well apparent of because I actually sell probably a set every other week of those. Of which ones? The Vance and Hines Dresser Duels. So okay, I wanted Dresser to, Duels. They're a popular pipe, aren't they? Yes, the Dresser yeah. Duels are very popular. And so I wanted to see the Python version and be able to visually compare that to the sets that were selling. Um, I gave Lurch his choice of which one he wanted, so and he nice of you. and he chose so nice. He of chose him. the crossover one, and I was just as happy with either one. But I'm very impressed with these Pythons. Um, they are a true duel, although total just interrupt him, dude. I'm just in totally. This is almost like every time Jake talks, it's like, it's like, what's that guy from Teddy? Texas? What do you always say? Do it together. I don't care. Let's do it together, Matt. How do you do it? Uh, oh, is that how you do it? I don't know. Why don't you do it? Why do you see? Oh yeah, Lurch knows. Look it. You can get a free meal. You can eat. <laughs> get a shower. He even knows the word. Hey, who was uh? Who was Big Daddy in the in the village people? Was he the guy, the cop in the leather hat? No, I was the Indian. He was the Indian dude. <laughs> I hard to tell at this point. He might have been the construction worker. Yeah, I think it feels like that after person. digging eighteen uh, yards of gravel the last two days. Yeah, that's pure nonsense. That, you can nonsense. blame Eric Showers for that. Yeah, he Eric got- Showers. It's not hard to throw us off track. Um, Philip Pence says I'm dying here. 
Ha ha ha, Steve Price. Yeah, the Eric Showers, you're getting us off track, man. But thank you because that was funny. All right, where did I cut, so rudely the cut you Hines, off? Yes. So we so went the, with so the I just two different sure. types on purpose. Right. We wanted to test a true dual and then one with the crossover chamber. So that's right. why we chose these two, and they had to be different brands that we hadn't used before. Right. And so um, first impression, good quality. They come with the heat shields. The heat shields are beautifully chromed. First impression, not even looking at him yet, not even looking at his Bassanis, the first thing I noticed was the weight difference. Right. His box was like but nothing. his box didn't have heat shields in it. No. Which accounts for a little bit, right? His yeah. box just had and pipes. My, and mine had all the, the hardware to install it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which, which adds weight. So the Python, But he had some hardware too because his came, the Bassanis came with new clamps, right? It came with all new clamps for clamping to the head pipe to the muffler. Not as much hardware, but it came with those. I remember doing it in the video. I was like, are those new? They're brand new. You have to reuse your clamps. Oh, just one clamp underneath. Right. The yeah, crossover. The crossover. Mm -hmm. Oh but, yeah. Good call. Yeah. But it, it was, it was a very good quality. The chroming action on the heat shields were good. The coverage, the heat shield coverage was actually very good. Um, perfect cutouts right where you needed it for the brake pedal. Perfect um, coverage um, throughout the entire system. Um, the install went very, very well. The PBR head, yeah. where's the headband? It's getting hot in here. Yeah. The, uh, I got to tell you though, um, the install um, was kind of interesting in that with Matt's, much better, Matt's headers, it was all basically using all the stock hardware to mount. With the Python True Duels, of course, with a whole different system, you're taking off the transmission bracket to mount right. the exhaust. So you are actually adding some stuff to make these work. And these are nothing, nothing that any of you guys can't do because if you order a set like we did for um, the, 104, the, 100, the 110 cubic inch Dyna. Mm, oh, um, yeah, right. The Dyna Low Rider, Rider S. Rider S. Yep. When we put on the short shots, Vansenheim short shots, staggered, we, we had to put short shot staggered. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had to put on the same bracket underneath the transmission. You're right. So be prepared. There is a the Bassanis were basically like taking off the stock exhaust and putting on stock exhaust, basically. Other than you don't have the cats, the Python True Duels. You are gonna you are gonna have to mount some new brackets um, the way that they mount, but the installation went very smooth. They did, the Pythons did include a bunch of new hardware for you that you could use that worked good. And I think I was most impressed with the heat shield coverage. The heat shield coverage was damn near flawless. It was a, it, it had, was, it, 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 it very more good. than the stock Harley. Yes. It, it mean, had better coverage to hide the welds yes, going into the, the slip yes. ones, right? Yeah, I do. That's a they good were call. extended on the back, um, putting your mufflers into it. They were extended out almost an inch. Wouldn't you say Lurch? about a half inch to an inch so they cover that little yeah, weld about a good half inch Lurch yeah. is very familiar with a half inch yeah i've got about uh, i said it he's got about he's got about 20 of them yeah thank so you. that makes him 10 inches oh god here we go you just got burned you just i was got, gonna say sir, eight, i was gonna say 18 sir, but I'll, take, job. I'll take 20 <laughs> but um very very impressed with the quality um and the price point on them is very good I can tell you that their their price point compared to what is their price point? Um, it's four fifty to no, five hundred. So we'll get you the exact yeah, while you're here talking. In a second. Um, but if you if you are to go and put on a set of Vance and Hines uh, dresser duels, or if you buy the um, if you buy the power duels, you're spending a lot of money. But um, they're they're very well three ninety nine to four twenty nine yeah so depending on your bike right three ninety nine to four twenty nine these only fit two thousand and sixteen to to uh, fourteen models I think or a little bit older than that maybe but the these won't fit your new Milwaukee eights they are specifically set up for this that whole Rushmore platform and and maybe a little older but these are cheaper. These are cheaper than the Vance and Hines or the Reinhardt's or anything like that. And so that's why I chose these, not only for a different brand right. that we wouldn't normally, but also price point. Um, I, I said it earlier, but I'll repeat it. The reason why I chose these two pipes was because these are affordable headers that can save you money 
And are they good enough quality that we can put our stamp on it and you guys will believe us in it and get them and save you some money? And that's why I chose these two. And I think they were ab- they both absolutely were fl- were flawless. I mean, the installation was good. The quality is great. And I'll let these two, since they both heard my bike, mm-hmm. let them talk about the sound because I'm a little biased because I can tell you, I think it sounds absolutely amazing. But I want to hear your guys' opinion of the difference in the sound. Yes, and I am curious about that, but I also want to mention real quick that these uh, only came with the Pythons, unlike the Bassanis, came with both 18 millimeter bungs and 12 millimeter bungs. So you could choose, um, you know, what kind of EFI tuner you're going to use. The the uh, Pythons only came with 12 millimeter bungs, correct? And so um, they didn't come with both. Now you certainly could use a, a power dyno jet power vision, but you would have to get the 18 millimeter bungs welded in. Um, where as in contrast, the Bassanis came stock that way. That's one mention. I and the Vance to make. and Hines also come with the 18 and 12. They too. do the tr- the dresser duels. Yeah. I, they, they, and we come, love our Vance and Hines. If you, you're never go wrong sticking with Vance and Hines, uh, no, obviously from our store, great but, yeah. quality, but our goal on this was to get two header pipes that were more affordable and compare the quality and see if it's lacking. Oh, oh, oh I thought he had something. I no, thought Brian had something. Uh, we may. Uh, yeah. So Brian's pointing to his phone. Go ahead. What's up, Brian? No, there was a question for you. It looks yeah. like from Bone Dead Fossil. Yeah, and I don't understand the question. Ryan Erlacher watched time on podcast hours. I'm not sure. Sorry. <coughs> Bone Dev Foss, I guess I'm not sure what the question is there. Brian had a question here that he answered. Brian White right here in the studio. The two sound a little different because of the different mufflers. 450 OS versus, and then he must have hit, oh, and then he had to do it again. He hit send, and then he's like, shit. And the he finished the <laughs> 400s. So yeah, you guys got to understand, Big Daddy's running the 400 eliminators, eliminator 400s, which are four-inch pipes, Lurch is running the four Titan Vance and Heinz Titan 450 uh, OS oversized pipes, which are four and a half. And so with that, right, Brian, that's what you're trying to answer there is you're going to get a different sound. You really can't compare. We can't take Bassani uh, head pipes and we can't take uh, Python head pipes and say which sound better or better because that's solely dependent on the muffler package. Right, that if we you had the have. same mufflers, maybe we can tell there you. There you go, right, right. But the and, and the bigger ones are going to sound more throaty. From yeah, what because we sound, right? well, there there's different baffle style in them. So okay, good, good, good. Uh, like your twin slash rounds or his eliminator four hundreds, they have a straight pass through, whereas the four fifty OS four fifty slip ons have a a baffle system in there where you're there's a chamber, if you will. It's not a straight pass through, so it's a little bit. The different eliminators sound. go straight through, right. And the and the 450 OS, they uh, say that there's a chamber in there, so you get that. I think it's where you get that repeat that, rumble. Matt. Sorry, so okay for me because oh. I, I, yeah, uh, on your twin slash rounds, you have a straight pass through on it. I mean, you can you can hold it up and look right through the thing. You have a metal baffle, he's got the Eliminator 400s, which again, you can hold up and look right through the pipe, but it's got a little bit different baffle style, and right. then. Mine, the OS 450s, have a chamber in there. So it's coming in. There's a chamber inside and it comes out. It's not straight pass through. So you, you could, can't see through it. You can't. Uh, well, I mean. Kind it, of. Kind of. But it's it's offset a little bit. You can still see through it, but not 100%. It's not a straight pass through. So there's a little bit different sound there. So you got a bit of a chamber in those OS 450 slip-ons, which makes that deeper kind of thump. And right. let's not forget that the Titan 450 OSs are marketed by Vance and Hines as a radio-friendly I mean, when I call them, that's one of their advertisements as we carry radio-friendly mufflers. And so they're meant to be a little bit less loud. Now, right. his he has the packing out of his, so that helps give him. The difference to me... We have a free video on that on, our, on this very YouTube channel, yes? Yeah. The difference to me was that my mine are... Mine sound more like straight shots or big shots. They're more... Like you're, tr- you, like you sound like a drag pipe, but they're, but they still have that baffling. His has a very deep rumble. It, it's a totally different sound. It is. It really is. It, it's hard to compare them, even because we don't. If we both had the same pipes on, I think we could make that assessment or the mufflers, but we don't. 
And there's a good question here from Z Monster. Yeah. I want to hit. Somebody he else says, had a good question too, but go two, with that first. Well, yeah, he says two different bungs. Is there an adapter or do you plug it in? Here's the deal. On the Vance and Hines and, and the Bassanis, which are typically more expensive systems, the only reason the Bassani is that inexpensive is because it's not including the heat shields. Mm-hmm. They will typically give you two um, bungs, one 18 millimeter wide band, which is, which, is, which is normally for like your power visions where you can put in the wide band O2, O2 sensors. sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whichever one you don't use, this Bassani system, which was very cool, actually included the two plugs for, for each both. one. You just yeah. put a bung plug in it. You put your own two plug sensors in and you plug bung the other. Plug. <laughs> Ryan's laughing but at un- me. Unfortunately, it wasn't Brian black. Thinks I'm funny. Unfortunately, that bung plug wasn't black like Ryan usually likes. Yes, exactly. It was just chrome. It was just regular. And that's another question here, Rick, is that's a good point. And is, the Vance and Hines do not come with the bung plugs. You have to buy them separately. Oh, you but do? Very, yes, but they're very, they're very affordable. They just don't include them. This, these Bassanis did, which is what impressed me. Um, yeah, they came with the, everything. They came with the the 218s and the 212s, and you chose which one you used. Um, with my pipes, because 16 and older bikes traditionally only use the 12 millimeter, and if you want to go to a wide band, you have to weld that in. And they do sell those that you can weld in. The 17 and newer bikes now come with the upgraded wide band. So that's that's why I think that they're offering that. That's why his will fit clear up to 17s versus the True Dual head pipes for Harleys fit 2010 to 2016. They're meant for the 12 millimeter bungs. Right. Good call. Big Daddy, thanks for cleaning And I want to hear what Brian says about the sound because he's running an all stock Milwaukee 8 and he has heard my bike stock. He's heard mine with just the eliminators and he's heard my bike now with this, but he's also ridden enough behind Lurch that he's heard his bikes without. So he's coming from an outside. Right, he's been behind not Lurch riding a lot. that bike. Is that what you just said? He likes being right he, behind he likes Lurch. Being right behind Lurch. He right. gives a good reach around. <laughs> Ryan's just like whatever. Why am I even involved with these clowns? These ass clowns. There you go, Lurch. That's for you. Okay, Chuckles. Tell us what's going on. <laughs> There's lots of bungs going on. So. <laughs> anyway. There's a lot of bung and plug talk, and I don't even know where we're going with this. Yes, but go uh, ahead. We are going to wind it down, don't we, Lurch? I do. Uh, I have listened to, like, I rode uh, Rick's bike early on when he first got it and listened to the stock pipes. I have the stock pipes on my 17 and listening to the sound when you put the 400 eliminators on. Get that on, mic right up there. And yeah, thank the you. sound from today. Like you described earlier, it was like God reached down and said, "This is what mm. a Harley should sound like." Yeah, it, you know what? You know what they sounded nice. like on both ones. It sounded like American Pie, Rock and Roll, and Jesus Christ all wrapped into oh, one tortilla. Oh yeah, it was amazing dude. the difference that both of these made in the sound. And I will tell you, when he fired up his bike, and I said it earlier, yeah, I got a chubby yeah, when I fired yeah, it up. Yeah. Uh, when yeah. I heard his yeah. fire up, I was like, yo, bitch is going to feel this tight. Get rid of the heat. <laughs> what? Here we go, dude. I love it. What? I love Big Daddy. No, I'm going to tell you. I, Best white rapper ever. I don't know who grinned higher, me or him, when he fired up his bike. I was like, fuck, I wish I had those Bassanis. But then once I got the pythons on, I was like. I'm moving some gravel. I'm moving. Yeah. When I remember when I was doing that, he even mentioned it. I mean, when I cranked those things up, it moved your bark. Yeah. There's like a line in your bark about three inches nice. or three feet back now. Nice. Hey, we got a question real quick, and we're going to wrap this episode up. And that is, Sorry, do guys, the, that was a dumb wrap. Do the true duels come in black? I'm looking on on our affiliate Revzilla. I only see that they come in chrome right true dual head pipes yeah python i only i don't see and i picked my bike i only see them in chrome hopefully that answers that question and then uh let's see do we have another i think that's pretty good on the questions uh yeah go ahead brian there was one from eric froned hey guys any reviews with shocks in the near future what Sorry. We were getting buddy. Sorry. I'm getting buddy because somebody was buddy asking. Buddy the studio dog. What did you say, Brian? There was a question from Eric, and I believe it's Froned. Hey, guys, any reviews with shocks in the near future? Uh, we have something. Did you just pump it out as a Popeye Pro- switch shocks? Popeye put Progressives. 944, was it 944 Progressive Shocks on his? Nicely done, Lurch. Oh, nine? 
I don't remember the year it was bike, but the video's on YouTube. Yeah. And uh, we, I, I'm literally losing my mind. We're doing so many projects. But yeah, it was 944 uh, shocks progressive. Uh, and uh, we we uh, changed out his stock shocks. And yeah, got rid of his air, air shocks. On like ninety five percent of our content is for free lurch. Yeah, yeah, but we got to charge for five percent just to keep the lights on here. Yes, that's right. Uh, Rick was uh, when Brian was asking this question. Rick and I were talking off mic. We apologize to the listening audience for doing such a thing. But he said, "Hey, make sure you talk about how the True Duels on his bike, the Python True Duels, changed up which." Uh, which jug actually went to the left side. Originally, it was the front jug that went down and underneath and to oh, the, yeah, to the yeah, left yeah. side of the bike. And when we switched them around, it was actually the back jug that went. Yeah, right, right on. Or vice versa. Yeah, the back the usually... Back used, the back used to go to the left side, which made it longer. And now the back was is going to his right side. Yeah, like a lot of these true duels, the front will go straight out down straight yeah. from the right side all the way down the right side and these pythons when we put them on uh, lurch and i smiled and we're like wow this is different but it looks cool and i wish everybody could see the picture that's up on our screen right now of them but if you go to that revzilla link that ryan posted you'll see them the actual front jug header goes underneath and underneath the bike and then cuts off the left side and then the rear jug actually goes out the right side it's a different system than what I've, I mean, I'm sure there's other systems out there like this, right. but traditional, usually the front jug goes straight out the right. And then the left goes out and underneath, just like the stock um, appears to because of the crossover, but it, it's a ama- It actually looks very, very cool. Gives a uh, very clean look. And I got to say, I think that's pretty common on the true duels. Cause we did a set of uh, Vance and Hines on your 2000. What was that? 11. 2011 yep. street glide mm-hmm. and i want to say that it was similar it looked You're just right. like that but it, it gives was a, gives a really clean look it seems like an easier way to route them and z monster in the live chat is a instigator and i love that guy he's funny dude because he, he would he makes me laugh so he says hey ryan do you do they offer ride-alongs with motorcycle cops and uh the only way we allow uh ride-alongs is if you have to straddle you have to ride facing me on the tank that's right and it might look a little weird i'm just saying you have to what do they call that there's a name for that and i can't think of it you know what i'm talking about reverse yeah. cowboy reverse kid the reverse <laughs> cowboy z monster and, and i don't even know if you're cute z monster i'm not sure how good if you're hey, I'll tell cute. you in sturgis you With see a, a you see shit. a lot what of reverse cute? I, I think that's a z monster's a dude man so i know that's what i'm saying i'm oh, laughing what, that's, they, what, that's I, what i'm joking i didn't about, even yeah. know there was a question at cute <laughs> Yeah, oh, in Sturgis, no, he is a, he is a guy, dude, and he's yeah, no, that, that was the, definitely the joke right there. So uh, good. yeah, he's a uh, in Sturgis, and especially if you're staying oh. at the Buffalo Chip, there's a lot of girls riding reverse cowboy with yeah. no clothes on with their man. So whoa, let's uh, yes, you're right, Rick. There naked is. or clothed? Jackson wants to know if he's doing the ride log. Does he have to be naked or clothed? I don't need to be in the front page of the paper. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but oh it makes me laugh uh that's what i love about the live chat and yes buddy the studio dog you guys asked is right here in my arms and if you haven't oh boy hey check question. the live experience good question and you man. haven't seen buddy the studio dog on video you're missing out in life just so, straight up i mean look at this dog straight up go good, ahead good question from mike a big easy rider in the uh, chat there he says some headers are too close to oil filler cap how are the basanis I got to tell you, the, the Bassanis are just like the stock headers. They fit, they use the stock shields, heat shields. And when you look at it, you can't even tell that there's a, a different header on there. So it will not get in the way of any of your, um, you know, like your oil filler cap or any of that. They're a bona fide there are stock some. Harley pipe. All they did is remove the cats yeah. and they're selling you head pipes without cats, right? Are, yeah. I mean, fair. And there are some pipes that you put on there. They got the like a really big crossover and they will block some of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, now with the Bassanis... They go in line where the stock pipes do, so they don't block anything. And the True Duels didn't either. So neither one of those are going to block a lot for I you. I think a good term for the Bassanis is their sleepers. Oh, they're yeah, sleeper yeah, yeah, yeah. pipes. Nice, nice. You think that they're stock, Put and that then guy you over fire there. it up, and it's like... Looking all bam. smart. Mm-hmm. And that's the first thing I told him. I said, these are sleepers. This could bike could look completely stock, and he thinks somebody thinks, oh, especially if like he had a big bore kit or a stage three or four kit, they would think it's completely stock other than the Titans. 
And then he would just rip the skin off of their face taken off from him. Wow. Wow. So here's to you. Cold beer salute. Cold beer salute. Straight up to you, buddy. All right. Anything else, guys, before we wrap it up out of here? No, we'll follow up if there's anything weird that comes up down the road that we're not happy with, whether it's the uh, performance of the true duels or the fit and finish of either one of them. We'll let you know. And, and don't forget, and we, understand, yeah, go ahead. we understand that there are people that really like the true duel look. There are people that, that want the performance with the crossover. And we can't discuss right now the performance differences between the two on our bikes because mm-hmm. we haven't had a chance to go out and, and ride them other than just fire them up and move them around a little bit. So in another podcast, we might bring it up as a sidebar. But I, I'm going to tell you, there are a lot of people that like that true duel look. Yep. I do. And so that's, I really like this look, but yeah, it is rumored that you lose a little bit less performance with the true duel than the crossovers, which we discussed early on. But I got to say, it's really, what do you like to see? Just like when we had the pro pipe on the um, ultra limited, Mm -hmm. do you like the look? Remember you and I had this discussion in a podcast. Some people love the look of the two into one. Some people don't like it. You like the look. Of two from, pipes, of coming two out. pipes. Yeah, I do too on the and uh, this dressers. this true duels allows you to do that and it is it is a straight up true dual system. I mean, there's it's the pipes are straight through. I mean, even the Bassani when he picked it up and he did the you rang mm-hmm. through the pipe. I mean, it was it's That'll obviously there are no restrictions. The there is no restrictions with these headers. Both good quality, both more affordable than more expensive brands. So we're giving you that option. Affordability yes. and nice. good quality. And when it comes to the true duels, I'm really curious if you even notice any difference. Uh, right, because you, he's got back pressure because he's running the lim, uh, 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 Eliminator, uh, Eliminator 400s. Remember, they're not actually straight pipes. He's getting some back pressure from his mufflers. So mm-hmm. that's something to take into account, right? Right. We talked about that. There's baffles in there. Yeah. Baffles, right? Mm-hmm. So it'd be different than my old true duels, which had no mufflers and they were just straight pipes with some steel. Oh type wannabe baffles yeah right yeah those things are annoyingly loud and it ran like shit because yeah. of that yes you will yes it's a question yes you will need to remap your electronic fuel injection after you put any of the following products on or you change your mufflers or you do anything to your exhaust system we strongly recommend the vance and heinz fuel pack three we have a free video everything you need to know to get up and running with the fuel pack three, how to program it, how to tune your bike yourself. It's so simple. You can put a base map and then do an auto tune. We've got you covered. Very popular video right on our YouTube channel. We also sell the fuel pack three right in our store. We have them in stock. Big daddy Kane has them ready on his shelf to ship directly to you. Why not get it from the guys that made the video to show you how to do it. So and we yes, got the VO2s too in stock. Yes, the VO2 naked air intakes, right? Yep, in for stock. the 16 to uh, 14 models. We in have stock. a free video on that. We have so many damn free videos. I can't mention all the damn free videos we have. The way we support this uh, uh, platform is big. Hey, you guys, by the super chats you just saw in the live Facebook or the live uh, YouTube group there. And uh, of course, through our patrons, um, our patron members who are in our private Facebook group and have access to all that kind of stuff. And then through donations. Um, and then we do sell a very few videos. That's right. 95% of our content is for free. That's the way we want to keep it. The only way we keep it that way is by your guys' support. We do sell a few videos for obvious reasons to help support this platform. And then we have people like Russell Roberts sending out equipment so we can have a better live video feed. I hope you guys enjoyed the clarity of this new video feed. I know that me and Lurch looked at it and it's very, very clear. And I'll be curious to see after it uploads to YouTube just how clear it is. That's right. Don't ride without the slide by Collex. Bug Slide, absolutely the best waterless motorcycle cleaner on the market. Convinced of that. Bug Slide tried and tested right here by the Law Abiding Biker Crew. It's our number one go to waterless motorcycle cleaner. Clean, shines, degreases while removing bugs and other surface contaminants with ease, I must say. Use it on your motorcycle, car, boat. That's right, your helmets, your shields, inside, outside, shields, tinted, everything, guys. That's right, I use it all over my personal stuff and my police motor and my police helmet and all that kind of stuff, guys. Never need to wax again. The release agent in Bug Slide contains a UV filter for added protection. It's free of abrasives, safe on all non-porous surfaces. Yes, 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 
Yes, Lurch. Even yes. safe on your Harley denim paint. We get it. Brian knows. All the he Brian uses knows. It. And I can attest to that. Very nice. Brian has a Milwaukee 8 with denim paint. And yes, it will not shine it. It will just clean it and protect it. Yes, Harley denim paint. We believe in it so much we carry it in stock right in the Law Binding Biker store. You're looking at him. Rick Big Daddy Kane has it on the shelf ready right now to box up and ship to you guys. LawBindingBiker.com forward slash store. Thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thanks for all the support. Thank you.